good evening so we are standing in the steering gear room of our ship so this is practically the place where bridge will send signals and this control panel in the steering gear will activate the circuits to determine how much the ram should change for certain rudder angles so while be discussing about all the parts of the steering gear in detail now before all discussions are going to take place let me give you some solas requirements these requirements are to be met for all the steering gear on a ship the rudder angle should be able to be changed from 35 degree on one side to 30 degree on the other side within 28 seconds so when we do control test before departure this is what we are checking for next comes remember the steering gear should be tested at least 12 hours before departure and a log entry has to be made to that effect now if all this is done there is a requirement regarding the auxiliary steering that is the emergency steering the emergency steering should be able to change the rudder angle from 15 degree on one side to 15 degree on the other side in 60 seconds also this has to be done when the vessel is at the maximum draft and proceeding at half her maximum speed or 7 knots whichever is greater so now let me show you how a steering gear is working so this is the steering gear in action out at sea now we are at sea and the bridge is in autopilot so signals are being continuously sent to the steering gear control to maintain a set heading the steering gear pump is pushing the ram system to adjust the rudder stock so that the set course can be maintained now in this situation all systems are in working order so if bridge control fails then local maneuvering is possible with the help of solenoid valves for this function the at least one pump has to be operational before we go to the basic operation of emergency steering let me tell you a detailed explanation of all equipments in the steering gear room this is the control panel that is the electrical supply for steering gear motor so all electrical operations are happening here then comes the rudder angle indicator so it will show both port and starboard how it is going to turn uh, what is the rudder angle you can watch it here next comes the gyro repeater this is basically a slave gyro that is used for getting the heading of the ship when you are in emergency mode you can see the pointer will give you the heading as per the master gyro after this comes a detailed explanation of all the valves and machinery diagram they will also give you the procedure for changing so this can be used in the case of an emergency next comes the sound powered emergency telephone remember when the electrical supply is cut the only way to communicate is by an emergency telephone so you will just have to turn the sound producing knob and you can directly call the bridge this is a normal telephone for routine operation of steering gear we can directly call the engine room bridge or any other personnel using this phone now this is basically your steering gear pump and the oil tank so the blue one is the pump and the yellow one is the tank 
we have two tanks and two pumps you can see that next comes the emergency steering ours is in the form of a wheel and that yellow one is the tank remember different ships have different types now comes the solenoid valves the solenoid valve is directly in front of the steering gear motor so using a pin you can just push that small button so if you push it on one side it will turn to port and on the other side it will turn to starboard you are basically directly controlling your steering gear pump with the help of the solenoid valve i'll show you the other side so port and starboard will have two buttons this is the rudder stock along with the ram arrangements so that is our ram the ram will push so for the ram to operate the pump will be supplying hydraulic oil through those pipes and when signal comes to the ram the ram will be pushing it so the red one is basically our rudder stock and this circular thing is basically the rudder stock getting connected to the ram so you can directly go port and starboard also whenever there is a rudder angle change there is an indicator so using this indicator you can find out how much rudder angle has been given now let us try out our emergency steering that is the valve for the oil for emergency steering gear so the isolation valve also is closed that means now the ship is in emergency steering mode we will turn the wheel some ships have wheel others will have a pump arrangement and now you can see the rudder is at 15 degree port we will turn the wheel and bring it back to midship remember when emergency steering mode is activated the normal steering is disabled that means neither the pump is running nor uh, since the pump is not running the solenoid valves cannot be used so all the associated machinery and electrical equipment are faulty this is the last resort for steering the ship so the emergency steering will have its own oil and its own turning mechanism we are practically turning the rudder stock by hand so now you can see the vessel has come to midship we will close the isolation valve and now the emergency steering is isolated we are back to normal steering we will also close the oil supply to the emergency steering the rudder is at midship also remember that uh, when the emergency steering mode is active we are practically pushing the ram with the emergency steering hydraulic oil so that's the reason it's going to uh, take a bit of time to get a rudder movement which we, we will be always getting information from the bridge as to what rudder angle has to be carried out so i hope you got a good understanding of emergency steering gear thank you